Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And in this video, I am going to show you how to solo all three of the bosses and beat them insanely easy. Dragon on Alpha, very easy. The other two on Gamma and Beta solo for sure. And then if you're playing on official, it's probably doable on Alpha. But yeah, all three of them, how to solo them. And you only need basic resources. It's pretty simple. But uh, yeah, hopefully this video is something that helps you out and uh, kind of like from start to finish each one of them and try to put them as close together as possible. So if you don't mind, smack that like button, leave a comment below for that algorithm and consider subbing. But let's get started. So anyways, all you need is a Megaloceros and then everything that you see in my hot bar underneath right now. So essentially what this means is that we are going to have a melee character, 745 points in the melee, and then some good ghillie, but I mean, obviously it's up to you. I would highly encourage you to use ghillie because it helps prevent, um, what's it called, the heat stroke going inside of the actual arena. Medical brews, energy brews, Lazarus chowders, uh, enduro stew, Kaelian stew, and shadow steak. All of these in combination are going to keep us alive in the boss battle while we're actually taking the damage. And uh, that's pretty much the hardest part is staying alive from not the boss itself, from the actual um, kind of dangers inside the boss arena. So you'll also need a Megaloceros. This is a literal unleveled wild tamed Megaloceros. There's nothing special. If you were to put points into one um, and get a good saddle, obviously you'd be much better off than I am right now. But that, I just the point of this is to show you how easy this strategy is. So the point of everything underneath, by the way, is we are taking them number four, I guess on this is the, I think it's Enduro Stew is what I said, uh, but that Enduro Stew is a nine, 900 second uh, countdown and it's gonna increase your uh, melee by an additional 35% plus a capped sword. Basically, we're gonna be doing approximately, and this guy's insanely fast, by the way, on the alpha version, so just be aware of that. Um, we're going to be doing an insane amount of damage per second to the boss. Now, what you're going to want to do is wait for him to land. And as soon as he lands, you're going to get underneath his feet. Because of the hitbox on the Alpha Dragon, it is unable, or Dragon in general, it is unable to actually hit the Megaloceros. It can't hit any small tame, technically. Um, so this is one of those risks. So see how he just blew in all of his buddies here? So what we're going to do is we're going to stick to the wall. And this is one of the dangerous sides of it. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to swing. And he's going to hit us with a fireball, probably. Um, yeah, he's going to hit us with that one. So what you want to do is you want to try and avoid those fireballs to the best of your ability. But obviously, it's not always possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and kill these Dimorphodons before he gets over to us. Because the Dimorphodons are the ones that are going to do damage to you. So what our goal is right now is we're going to get next to his foot. So see how we're on his foot right now? We are going to do 4,000 damage a second. Now, 4,000 damage a swing, so that's like 12,000 damage a second on him, which is kind of crazy. But this is all you have to do, is just get underneath his foot. And then when the Dimorphodons and stuff come in, you're actually going to insta-kill them, because they're going to try and bite you and then take damage via the headshot. So notice how much damage we're doing. Yeah, so he's already, what, almost 20% dead, and this is on official settings, by the way. So, just so you can see that. But the better sword you have, the better off you are. You can, I mean, you might be able to do this with a primitive sword, but I'm not going to recommend you try because you probably want, I would say, somewhere around a 300% capped sword in order to complete this if you're going to do this yourself, especially because it's pretty expensive to do this boss. But sometimes, depending on how much damage you can do, you can actually kill him before he ever takes off, which is a super useful thing, obviously. And uh, so, yeah, make sure you're hitting him with every swing. And we're just going to keep aiming at the foot like I am right now. Yes, this is a very glitchy thing, but that's kind of the point of this, is we're just trying to stay alive in order to actually do the damage. So see how I'm still doing those damage even though I can see him? So he's almost down to half health, and this is Alpha Dragon, by the way. Now, what you're also going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your stims and everything like that, and make sure your character is surviving, right? So keep an eye on all of your individual statistics. Stamina is going to knock you out if you let it, so don't do that and then avoid his fireballs from the sky. So, notice how that fireball is over there. We're gonna avoid it. And then he's gonna breathe his fire. And as soon as he breathes his fire, he's calling in his Pteranodons and Dimorphodons. So we're gonna go and break out our sword again. And we're just gonna swing, right? Now, the reason that we're gonna swing is we don't wanna get hit by that fireball. And we also don't wanna get hit by the, uh, any of the Dimorphodons because the Pteranodons can be tanked technically, um, but you don't really wanna tank the Dimorphodons because those are gonna be the ones that hurt you the most. 
But with the speed of your tame, you can actually kind of survive this entire thing and just back up and swing. There we go. All right, so now he's land again. We're gonna go back underneath his feet. And if you can get underneath him before he hits you with that first fire breath, that's the goal. It's not always possible, but it's very, it's much preferred, obviously. So we have some veggie cake on our Megaloceros. We have about 10 so that it can heal up. It heals 500 per bite on that veggie cake. So just be aware of that. That's why we have that in here. And then you're just going to keep swinging. You're going to keep swinging at the foot. That's all you got to do. Swing, 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 swing away. Now, just so you know, you could do this with any sword. Um, it's going to take longer and it's going to be a little bit more. You have to be more cautious, but it is doable technically with any sword. You would. I mean, I don't know if I would personally do it with a just a prim sword. But I would go for at least 200 and 250 percent swords. Those are what you want to aim for. And because they swing faster than a pike, that's our uh, ability to actually do this damage insanely fast, right? So we're just swinging away, and that's all we're doing, right? Now, if you have, if you're paying attention to your energy, make sure you pop a couple of those energy brews so you can keep swinging without knocking yourself out. And then just keep, make sure you're watching those buffs in that bottom right. And that's the hardest part of this boss fight, right? I mean, we are almost killing an alpha dragon by ourselves on official settings. Kind of crazy. Um, and looks like we're almost torped ourselves, but I think we might. I'm just going to go for gold here because I want to keep swinging. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on. Come on, buddy. There we go. Alpha dragon killed. And again, this is on official settings, by the way. So, yeah. Hopefully this is something that helps you out. Kind of crazy. So I just beat Alpha Drag, including explaining to you what I'm doing. So I'm not really paying attention in less than seven minutes, which is wild, by the way. If you've never played Alpha Dragon, it's kind of difficult. The only negative of this is sometimes just like you see me right now, you get stuck inside of the actual boss and there's nothing you can do about that, um, which kind of sucks because, yeah, not not great. Obviously, if you get stuck inside because then you lose all the element and stuff. But realistically speaking, you don't care. I mean, it's 450 element, but your big thing is getting those engrams because you can always get the ability to um, get out of here and uh, hopefully get all keep all the loot. But uh, yeah, a super, super awesome strategy. Now, again, if you haven't smacked that like button for this video, please do so. It helps out a ton if you want to. I mean, it would be awesome, but that's up to you. So. Yep, and uh, let's see here, what could go wrong with this boss fight? So the things that could go wrong is that if you freak out, like remain calm, the Dimorphodons and the Pteranodons are your biggest enemy. Do not let them freak you out. So just get to a corner and swing away with your sword. And uh, yeah, that's kind of like the hardest part. And then obviously make sure you get underneath his feet and make sure your Megaloceros isn't taking damage. And then just keep your uh, Bruce and stuff like that up. Kind of freaking easy, way too easy, but you know, Sometimes it's about the glitches and the fun part of Ark that make it entertaining. So uh, you can see that we've gone back to our arena here and boom, there we are. And the one sucky thing, again, you can see we did not get to keep our stuff because it goes inside of that area. But uh, yeah, not too freaking shabby. Yo, guys, after a break from the dragon, this is how you beat the Broodmother solo. All you're going to need access to is a Procoptodon, a good shotgun, and that's it. It's just knowing where to go inside of this one. Let's go ahead and just, just to show you, I'm going to go into Gamma. Now, you can get more than one person into this, but uh, basically this is going to show you how to beat this boss insanely easy. You just have to jump up to a proper ledge using the Procoptodon special ability. This is how we're going to beat the... Uh, uh, Broodmother and Megapithecus. So I'm just going to show you how to do both of them in quick succession. And you just jump on the top of the back and then have the shotgun shoot down because this is one of the rare dinos that you can actually pull out your shotgun and you can technically shoot through the Procoptodon, but that's uh, not necessarily a major thing. All right, so as soon as you spawn in, hop on the back of your Procoptodon. Now there's a few things we're going to look out for, so it's going to basically charge after you, right? Now, what you're looking for is pretty simple. You're just going to move as quick as you can and do your best not to get hit by anything, because as soon as you get hit by something, you're in big trouble, right? So we want to jump on top of these bulb like looking things right over here. So see those right up there? We're going to jump up on top of these. Um, sometimes it takes a few seconds and a few tries to get up to it, unfortunately, but it works pretty much every time. There we go. So just like that. And that's all you've got to do. And then the spider cannot see you and you just shoot down on it. Now, you want the obvious best shotgun that you can have. And then you're just going to sit up here 
He can technically hit you, by the way, with your Procoptodon, but if you feel safer, what you can do is as soon as it's beneath you, it can no longer hit you, so you can actually jump off and then prevent just every time it shoots at you, you can just do exactly what I'm doing right now and kind of hide to the side. So it's not a huge issue. Um, you can see that this guy that I'm riding on, eh, he took about a quarter health. This is an unleveled uh, primitive saddle, by the way, so you can technically do a lot better than this. Um, but see how I'm kind of like hitting its render box now? You can kind of pull your way around in corners up here and prevent this guy from hitting you at all if you uh, position yourself properly. But you're looking for the bulbs, just like I am showing you in the corner right now, and you just rain down. The most I've ever been able to do this strategy with is four people. Um, but you can actually do it with as many as you want, as many Procoptodons that you want. There is no limit, if that makes sense, because all you have to do is get up on top of these bulbs. So one person can ride in the pouch, the other person can uh, sit on the top, and that's how you do it really easily. So as long as you can still see her, you can actually shoot at her. But if you can't see her like I am right now, just wait a second, and she will come back into your render range. Now, it really is that easy. Um, and then you just sit up here. Now, what you can do is if your team is about to die, right? Let's say that I am risking my Procoptodon dying. Um, what you can do is you can hop off and then that will give you the ability to kind of hide and duck out of the way of her shots. So she can't hit you, but you can hit her. So you're gonna see that this thing takes quite a bit of damage. So I'm getting a little nervous, right? So all I wanna do is I just have to hop off to the side. You can put your shotgun away and then hold E like that right there. And then if you really want to, whistle neutral, because again, the important part of this is nothing to do with the actual um, engrams and stuff like that, or not the engrams, but the um, element, because we just want to get the engrams. You will not take enough fall damage if you drop out of this, but see how she's trying to get to me now? Your Procoptodon will sit and soak that damage. He will go after her and see how it like shoots underneath me right there. All I have to do is just stay in this exact spot and just not get hit. That's it. Now, she can't hit me here. She will move again. We're kind of using the render to our advantage. You can't shoot her through this. There is no way to do that. So you will have to wait for her to move back out this way. And she will, it just takes some time. Um, and as long as you're just continuing to wait and be patient like I am, that is how you do this boss fight. You just keep shooting and waiting. Now you can lay down the entire time if you want to. It's entirely up to you, but pretty simple. And uh, yeah, so I have almost no health, no stats, no anything. See how she does that scream. Sometimes she'll throw things at you. Just stand. Uh, basically, this is like your little guide right here. See how I can't shoot her here. If she can't hit you, you can't hit her. So you're completely safe. But this is like that little line right there that we're looking at. So keep shooting at her. And uh, you can sometimes come close to beating this on uh, solo, but it's very difficult. And she got me with that one. Good for her. Um, but uh it's very difficult to beat it on alpha solo so just be aware of that so make sure you're using this thing to your advantage and we should be pretty close um but i would if you're going to do it solo on alpha oh man you basically got to be on unofficial servers because you're not going to be able to get enough damage off on this uh, uh brood mother so i would highly recommend oh that that hurts ow you caught me with a few of those uh, for some reason, the nets sometimes get you, but the, the green things are the ones that are dangerous. Those are the ones that will one-tap you, so just be aware of that. Okay, she is waiting for me to swing. Um, but yeah, you can, I mean, you can probably honestly fit five or six people up here pretty easily. Um, you can just wait down low on like a stego or something like that, and then transport people up here with a Procoptodon, making sure it's nice and safe. But this is the best way to do this boss fight by far. And this should be the last, like, three shots. Two. There it goes. And that's it. That's all you have to do in order to beat her. Now let's move on to the uh, Megapithecus. Yo, guys, we are now at the Megapithecus basic easy win guide, if you want to call it that. So basically, all you're going to need, same, same strategy. The only thing we're going to change out is our armor. We're going to use Riot instead because that's going to give us more insulation because the uh, arena inside of this area is incredibly cold. I only have 100 health, by the way, so if I can do this on 100 health, you can do it for sure with regular stats. Um, and you're just going to need, again, a Procoptodon, just so you can see. This one has primitive and it's wild tame, so it's got zero levels into it. It doesn't even need to be a good one. Um, the hardest part is getting a good shotgun, and it's got to be a pump action shotgun. Now, this one, not really doable on... I mean, it's is it doable on alpha? Probably. 
um, but it's very difficult to achieve on alpha because of the damage output. You have to do enough damage, but you can definitely do gamma and probably beta solo. Um, and anyways, if you wanted to, this spot is what I'm about to show you. You can fit 15, 20 people up in this area. It's absolutely broken. Um, basically, you just need to know how to jump up to it, and that's it. So we're just going to go ahead and get up to it real quick. You just need to jump up in the air on the other side of this. Now, if you if you made a mistake like I just made, it's totally fine. Don't freak out. Um, you can just kind of move around and uh, jump back up there again. So he will he will hit you quickly. So just be aware of that. See this ledge that I'm landing on. This is perfect. This is where we're going. And uh, basically what's going to happen is they can't hit us, but we can hit them. And this is the entire point of this strategy. So I don't know how he got up here. Actually, that's kind of funny. Never seen someone like that land up here, but you can see that he's still technically not able to hit us. So we are now up on this ledge. You can do the exact same thing that we did with the spider boss if you want to. Um, and you can just shoot at this Megapithecus. Notice how he literally can't see us. And that's kind of the entire point of this one. Uh, you can drop nice and safely wherever you want. I'm going to go right here, um, but you can see that I am technically inside of the zone. So he can't actually do anything to us, which is kind of super nice, obviously. Um, so let's go ahead and get out the shotgun. And it's not shooting for some reason. There it goes. It was like lagging or something. Okay, cool. So we are now on the back side of this. He can't hit us, but we can hit him. And he's going to continue to try and get to us. He cannot, by the way. Um, so you don't need to really worry about it at all. Um, if you go up a little bit higher, you can kind of see that he's going to try and throw those rocks at you. Um, but he cannot. So just be aware of that. Um, you can technically get like I am right there inside. If you're inside of the mesh, it won't let you shoot. But you can easily adjust this just by going back up. You can also land over here where I am and then go back up over the wall on this side. So there's a lot of ways to do this boss fight, actually. Um, but you can do whatever you want. There's another area you can land on this side. You can go up here. It's kind of crazy the number of areas that you can actually go for this one. Um, but as long as you're able to hit him, it doesn't really matter. He can be a little bit of a pain in the butt and jump around like you see me doing. Um, but this is the generic strategy. Uh, if you really want to, you can hop off your tame and that's totally fine. And just make sure to keep an eye on your actual health, right? I wasn't even paying attention, but you can still shoot him around this corner. So you're good to go. So he will continue to stand there, especially if you get a good one like this and you just rain shots down on him. And that's all you have to do. I probably shouldn't have faced him on alpha. Um, so I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch me totally drain him of shots. But um, just so you can see, you see how I've kind of like moved around on this ledge using the Procoptodon. Uh, the only big thing you want to be aware of is just watch out for your health. If you want to bring in some of the chilies and stuff like that in order to actually heal your character up, that's one of the better ways to do this boss fight. Um, just because you want to make sure, see how he's throwing those rocks. Don't get hit by one of those. Um, so the higher up you are, the less likely you are to get hit by that. But that's all you have to do. So you just sit up on this ledge and shoot down on him. You can see the amount of damage that he's taking isn't very much, especially on uh, if I'm doing this by myself. But you can get six, seven, eight, as many people as you want up here. So you can totally fill this place with Procopidons and players and have them all shoot down at the uh, gorilla. And you will get the Engram from being up here, just so you guys know. it's uh, it, it always works. And uh, because the element is going to spawn way over there on the other side, that is all you have to do. Now, on Gamma, you can definitely beat this solo on official. Uh, beta, probably. The, the, because of the health pool on Alpha, it's much more difficult. Just be aware of that. Um, so just definitely be use, use caution with that. All right, guys. And what feels like it's been six years later shooting with this shotgun. He is almost gone. And there he goes. So that is all you have to do in order to beat this. And it's pretty much that easy. There's nothing super difficult about it. Um, you just have to hop back on the Procoptodon so you make sure you don't die from the fall. And then you're going to go ahead and head over to your supply crate that you've won. And that is how you beat all three of the bosses solo. Um, obviously, the only one you can easily do on solo because you have to get inside of the range is the dragon with the... The, with the elk. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name of it real quick. And the other two you do with the Procathodon with a shotgun at distance. Unfortunately, they both apply knockback, so there's not really a creature that's going to be able to get inside of their render range and not take knockback and do damage to them. But uh, yeah, that's it. It's that easy. So hopefully this video helps you out. But other than that, teach. Ow.